Safety and hygiene are a regular part of everyday life as a biopark employee. But now more than ever, we are prioritizing the health and wellness of our staff and animals. Since this footage was taken, we have increased safety practices, including wearing filtration masks in any setting that brings people and animals close together. Hi everyone, my name is Tim and I'm the Behavior and Enrichment Manager here at your ABQ Biopark. And I'm Jason Schaller, I'm the Curator of Entomology here at the Biopark. And we're excited to welcome you to your dose of Vitamin Z. <laughs> you mean Vitamin B. Oh yeah, that's right, Vitamin B because we're here at the Bugarium and Botanic Garden and Jason's gonna give, give us a behind the scenes look of what it's like to work inside the Bugarium. Even though we're closed down, there is a lot going on. So come with us as we showcase what's going on at the ABQ Bioparks Bugarium. Come on, Jason. All right. When you enter the Bugarium at the ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden, passion can be seen everywhere. And Dr. Jason is no exception, as he leads every program and project within the Bugarium. Looking into the exhibit of stick bugs, you might think that they're all the same, but once Jason opened it up and began identifying each individual by species, it was clear he knows each of them and how to work in harmony with them all. On top of that, bugs can be social with each other. So while it may not look the same as seeing the otters play or the penguins preen each other's feathers, having other individuals of the same group can enrich a bug's life just like it can any larger animal. Taking care of bugs takes a lot more than just giving good food, good habitats, and good water. It takes the right type of care to make sure that they're healthy and active. The Bagarium staff prepare a lot of their own food, growing plants and other bugs, as well as partnering with the horticulture staff to make sure every bug has the right kind of browse plant and nutrition. They also have created a proprietary recipe for soil that helps promote a healthy biosphere within the exhibits. During the shutdown, the Bagarium team is working to improve areas they wouldn't normally be able to focus on. Most iconic of all is the leaf cutter ant vine. It is a lot of work to care for the vine, since it involves real moss and a nest of hungry ants. They're improving the way the moss is humidified, widening the walking space for the ants, and increasing the natural aesthetic, which means next time you visit your ABQ Biopark Bagarium, there will be a whole new way to see leafcutter ants in action. Goliath beetles are clearly the pride and joy of the Bagarium. What you don't see is the long process it takes to get them there. Jason took us into the back laboratory to get an inside look at a baby Goliath beetle. But trust me, cute, fuzzy baby beetle, that's not what greeted us. A Goliath beetle grub weighs more as a grub than when they pupate and become an adult. This process is called metamorphosis, same as with a butterfly or moth. As part of its routine health check, Jason found that it weighed about 82 grams. That's the size of a normal apple. Keeping records and doing routine health inspections on the bugs ensures the future of not just our collection, but endangered bug species around the world. Our visit to the Bugarium shed light on the dedication of the team and the diversity and abilities of some memorable arthropods. We are committed to the highest levels of care at the ABQ Biopark, bug, animal, and plant. And it is through your continued support during this crisis that we will come out ahead stronger than ever. Thank you. <laughs>